guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I am testing and reviewing the overhyped Ofra Cosmetics. So I have one highlighter, one bronzer and five lipsticks to swatch and test out. And I have been testing all of this out for a good two weeks. So I will give you all a complete or brutally honest review on Ofra Cosmetics just like all of my videos are very very honest. This is not a sponsored video. I have spent my money in buying all of these products. So if you want to know the honest uh, thoughts and if this is worth the hype then please keep on watching. So like you can see I've already done my lace makeup and my eye makeup. So if you want to check it out and want to see how I got this look uh, you can follow me on Instagram and I will add a short one minute or IGTV video or up on Instagram. So this is the Ofra blusher and bronzer. There's no number written on it. It says format behind it. I don't know if that's a name to the thing or what is it exactly. But uh, this has slight shimmer flex in it. Now this product wasn't really purchased by me. It got added automatically to my cart as a free goodie on Nykaa when I purchased the rest of the makeup that I did from Ofra. So I didn't really get to pick a shade number or any of that, I just got this but I feel like it, it would be a good match. I'm just a little so-so about the shimmer in this because it looks very, very shimmery. I'm not sure, I've not seen any reviews on the Ofra, anything online although I know it's, uh, I'm a little late in doing the video but I have not. This is the pack uh, to one faux brush, a very fluffy bronzer brush and I'm dusting out the excess hoping the shimmer flex will fall off and then bronzing in the regular regions Ooh, it is pretty, it's very pretty very pigmented the shimmer isn't really like showing up as glittery or chunky it's more like a glow sort of like it's a glowing bronzer but up close I feel like I can't see the shimmer at all uh, it is very pigmented and very very defining I actually really like the color uh, I can see myself using it quite a lot because it's super pigmented and you need to go with a very light hand since it's so pigmented you can go overboard really quickly so I'm just building it up on my forehead. If you go with a lighter hand, you can build it up. It's giving me more like um, I'm going to the Bahamas, I'm going to go have a very bronzy vacation sort of vibes. So yeah, that's the kind of vibe I'm getting from this bronzer. See how much product comes on the brush. You really need to tap off the excess. See how pigmented and defined that is. This is very pretty. I really like it. Oh, this is by the way the first time I'm testing out the bronzer and the highlight. I've already uh, been testing the lipsticks, so that's going to be a review. But for the highlight and the bronzer, it's a first impression. Okay, now for my favorite part of this video, it's the Ofra Cosmetics Highlighter. This is a first impression. I've not really tried this. I've not even had the heart to finger swatch this because it's so beautiful. So I got myself the mini highlighter and this was Rs. 1500. The Unicarton is very classic. Okay, so this is what the highlighter looks like. It has Oprah written over it and, and it opens to this gorgeous color. This is the shade Rodeo Dry. Very beautiful. It has even a very nice mirror in it. It's very compact, very channel friendly. Can you see how tiny it is? Uh, it is 1500, very expensive, but the packaging is super luxurious. It has this magnetic soft touch packaging. Heavy, um, good quality product. Of course, it is expensive, so it is good quality. As much as I know, this is the old packaging from Ofra and this is the new one. So maybe this they got in bulk at Nykaa and that's why they are giving it away free at a minimum order, which was the case when I got it. I don't know if they still have it. This is the old uh, packaging. Maybe the product is still there, but the packaging is totally been revamped to this now. And so this is the new Ofra Cosmetics packaging. This is the shade Rodeo Drive I've been wanting it since forever. You all have no idea how long I've wanted Rodeo Drive in my life. Uh, so now I finally do have it. Uh, I'm gonna use the Elf highlighting brush this time. Oh my god, that is blinding on just one soft touch. My touch was so soft that thing is even intact even now. 
this highlight is not for the faint hearted okay this is for those who love like a full glam like me i actually thought rodeo dry would not be like a very good shade for my skin tone because um it is more um raved by nikki tutorials and kathleen lights who are much much fairer than me they are like on the white skin category and uh, i'm brown skin so i felt this wouldn't like this would be very white striped for me but it's not it's actually just a very sheeny champagne glow and uh, the shimmer flecks are not chunky they are very smooth it's not like shimmery it's very blinding but there are no glitter flecks on it okay so yeah that's the best way i can describe it can you see how much dimension that just added to my face it's very wet looking very like dewy and uh, again i'm going to say it reminds me of an amazing beachy vacation vibe this is super blinding like for a night out at the club this is the highlight you want to put on your face okay this is super blinding then we're going to be fancy and add it to our shoulders that's the reason i'm wearing this top you can actually tell the difference this is so wet looking and so shiny i just love it i'm in love with this highlight ah oh, yum so excited to play around more with this super thumbs up from my side uh i don't know how long lasting it will be i'm going to wear this makeup and go out but i'm not giving a wet as you i'll just add uh, a duration it's 3 o'clock i'll see how long the highlight was on my skin and add it here Now for the very very interesting part of this video is the lipsticks. Um, so I got like two set of lipsticks. One was a full size lipstick. This is in the shade Mocha. Uh, this uh, costed rupees sixteen fifty, and this is the mini set. It says the two me liquid mini set, and this was rupees eighteen fifty. Uh, so this has four shades in it. Uh, it has one gram of product each. Now I'm going to first give you all swatches of all the shades I have the five shades I have and then we'll go ahead for the review part of this um, of the lipsticks uh, since I've already been testing it out for a good 2 weeks I know how these lipsticks perform how long they last and everything and I'm going to give you all a full pros and cons list Till I get up, time is barely on our side. I don't wanna waste what's left. The storms we chase are leading us, and love is all we'll ever trust. Yeah, no, I don't wanna waste what's left. And on and on we'll go through the wastelands, through the highways, till my shadow. Through the sun rays and on and on we'll go through the wastelands, through the highways and on and on we'll go. Okay, you guys. So these were the swatches of all the Ofra lipsticks I got. Uh, so these were like five of the swatches. Now, one by one, I want to talk about. Just a general review of how I feel about the formula of the lipsticks, and then we'll dive into each shade at one time. They are not like liquid lipsticks; they are more like the Miss Claire soft matte lip creams. I want to say, and I'm not trying to push the quality down by saying that a Miss Claire soft matte lip cream and NYX soft matte lip cream, just the soft matte lip creams in general, have a very very bomb ass formula. Uh, they are really really good quality, even though they are cheaper than this Ofra cosmetics lipsticks. I feel like the um quality of or the texture of the lipsticks not quality the texture is very very similar on those lines so if you want like just a general picture and you've tried Miss Claire or NYX in the past you can get a general idea now uh, to be very honest with you all the packaging on this does say that it is um no 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 it is a long lasting color that turns lips to a smooth velvet true it is a velvet texture lips are healthy pigmented and perfectly lined for up to 5 hours so it's only taking a guarantee for up to 5 hours okay so now that ve that velvet matte texture for me is neither a pro nor a con it's just in general that's how the formula of the lipstick is now the first biggest pro for me is that these lipsticks are very comfortable this is possibly the most comfortable liquid lipstick i have ever used uh it, it feels like literally lip clouds on your lips and uh, 
doesn't feel like you've applied liquid lipstick so that's definitely a pro now for the con side is that they are like lip clouds and they are like lip mousses and lip creams and not really like a liquid lipstick so the whole point of calling it a liquid lipstick somewhere in my heart feels like a betrayal because it's not very um liquid lipstick that you know i'm not saying it should be paint dry it is dried up it's not uh, completely dry and it's not even that glossy finish so it's definitely like a lip cream there's no other better way to describe it and so that's a negative for me another positive for me is that since these are not drying and very crackly on your lips they are very very comfortable or uh, they do not end up creating that butt full lip so throughout the day when your liquid lipstick ends up drying and drying and gets crustier you internally try to like you know get that butt full sort of lipstick that your lipstick fades away internally from where you're eating and it's just there on the outside this does not really do that when it fades it fades off very evenly so there's no butt hole but the second uh, the con on this side for me is that it's not long lasting enough uh, i feel like it doesn't even last 5 hours yesterday i just put it on for 1 hour i went for a meeting i came back and i had putta on my way back and the entire lipstick went away i know you eat putta in a very very um gross like very ugly fashion but then still you know if i had my smashbox liquid lipstick on it wouldn't really do that to me um i'm just saying that it's not even 5 hours long lasting enough now this color per se i've not tried till now so today i'm going to wear it and go out now my problem with this is that even if it's going away it's not even leaving like a hint of color or a tint on your lips you know like with the miss clear and nix i noticed that sometimes the tint remains on my lips इसमें वो भी नहीं होता है लिपस्टिक चला जाता है तो पूरा ही चला जाता है यू फील लाइक एट दी एंड ऑफ द डे दस नो लिपस्टिक ऑन योर लिप्स एट ऑल विच आई फील इज अ वेरी बिग नेगेटिव क्योंकि इतना पैसा दे रहे हैं तो थोड़ा तो लिपस्टिक रहना ही चाहिए ना लिप्स पे सो दैट्स वॉट आई फील वन मोर प्रॉब्लम आई हैव दिस लिपस्टिक इज दिट्स नॉट वेरी ओपेक नाउ दिस डार्क कलर वॉज वेरी वेरी पिगमेंटेड एंड वेरी ओपेक ऑन वन स्वाइप आई फेल एंड लव दिस कलर बट वेर एज द अदर थ्री कलर्स वेंट इवन फॉर द रॉन्डे वू शेड विच इज अ स्ट्रॉबेरी पिंक कलर and for the other three nudes they are very sheer on the first application it's very sheer you need to build it up and somewhere i have very pigmented outer border of my lips and i feel like it gets it's it's seen through the lipstick even then it's not patchy on application or anything it's a cream texture so it it builds really well it you can build the lipstick up but it's very very sheer on application so you end up putting a lot of product not with the darker shade so i feel like i should have gone for a darker full size lipstick you know because my biggest regret in this haul is this full size lipstick uh, cuz i really really didn't like it and i feel like i should have gone in for a darker shade cuz this is a beautiful color that i have currently on my lips and i wish i had a full size for this uh, it's not very pigmented enough you have to build it up you end up wasting a lot of product so that's why it's a con and the pro on the other side is that even though it's transferring and it does transfer which is not a very bothering factor for me but if it bothers you you should just know that it does transfer throughout the day it's a very mild sort of transfer and then also um maybe if you're eating like chammach se khana or something it will still stay on your lips but if you're eating like tandoori chicken and all then you know that you know the days you have to go to eat tandoori chicken you're not going to apply this lipstick and go so i think that's how i would think so even though it is transferring it does stay on so that could be another pro for me So I think after these three pros and these three cons, you can make an idea uh, for the lipstick yourself and how you feel about your lipsticks. I genuinely don't feel these are bad. They are ne- not at all bad. But I also do not feel they are worth the hype because oh my god, are these hyped? Abroad, every single YouTuber I know, James Charles, Nikki Dudley, Kathleen, like everybody raves that Ultra Cosmetics makes the most comfortable liquid lipstick on the market. Now I do not disagree with the comfortable factor, but for me, a liquid lipstick is something that I need to put on and know that it will not come off, you know, throughout the day. For me, it's something that gives me full blown opacity from the first swipe. For me, it's something I should wear, be able to wear to weddings and know that खाना वाला खाने के बाद जब stage पे photo लेने जाएंगे तभी also it's going to stay. So for all of those factors, I feel it's not. categorized properly as a liquid lipstick personally for me the finish this lipstick is giving is something i can achieve from a miss clear lip soft matte lip cream a nyx soft matte lip cream or even a normal regular bullet lipstick and so if i wanted that i didn't really need to give 1650 for this uh, also for me the price is a very 
very big factor because it's not that you are India ki mehenga ho gaya abroad also Ofra lipsticks are twenty dollars each and I think they are very very expensive for the price. So in the same price range, if I want to give you all a comparison of you know for me the most comfortable and Long wear liquid lipstick is the Kat Von D or um, whatever it's called, the Everlasting Liquid Lipstick. Amazing formula. I have the lightest shade from the collection, which is Lolita 2, and uh, even it's not the lightest, but for me it's light enough, and that also is very, very, very opaque. It's not sheer at all. My natural skin color gets total, lip color gets totally hidden. Uh, then the Smashbox liquid lipsticks, superb. They are 2050, but they are worth it. Uh, they are very comfortable, very long lasting, and just just superb. I love those. Uh, and the third is the Huda Beauty. The Huda Beauty liquid lipsticks are also bomb. They are 1650, and they are worth your money. They do not dry the lips. They are also very lightweight, very comfortable. From my collection, I'm telling you, these are some of my absolute favorites. They are comfortable and they are long lasting and for me they are worth the money. For me this was not worth the money. I personally feel if you want to test it out you should go ahead to an Nykaa store if they have started displaying uh, this in an Nykaa store and go swatch it and try it. And if not that, if you really really want to get an Ofra lipstick just the way I wanted to, go in for a darker shade. I really feel the lighter shades are not brown girl friendly. These all three nudes are white based nudes and they do not have any yellow or uh, any warmth to them. You know, they are very very cool toned. And so I feel like uh, with dark skin and brown skin and Indian skin, they are going to be very very washing you out sort of lipstick. And my new new favourite is the shade Milan. Very very gorgeous colour. I think once I get a little more money after the huge disaster that I spent on this, I might just buy a full size Milan because I am in love with this shade. Now here you have it. Here you have all the pros, all the cons and everything I thought about this liquid lipstick. So you can make your own call, it's your money at the end of the day and you want to know what you're putting it into, that's why I wanted to do this review. I know I'm a little late but I hope I'm just in time to uh, give you all uh, my thought about this and I hope you all got a lot of insight from this. My favourite favourite products had to be uh, the Oprah Cosmetics Rodeo Drive Highlighter. The mini size is I think a more preferable option because highlighter will be cut up yoga and uh, the liquid lipstick in the shade Milan. So from my haul, these two are my favourites. Actually, they really really like the bronzer as well. So I don't know how much this is for, but if you feel you want a nice new bronzer, I think I really like it because I'm just liking my whole carved out cheekbones and the glow it's giving me. Actually, yeah, the, uh, these are the three favourite products. Bronzer, highlight and the liquid lipstick in Milan. So yeah, I think I've given you all a complete and most honest as possible review. Leave your thoughts below, sound off below and let me know what you think about the whole collection, the whole entire launch. Are you all excited? Are you all going to buy anything? Which was your favourite colour from these? And uh, yeah, just let me know anything in the comments below. Hit the like button if you did actually like this video. And please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I make videos every Sunday. I will see you guys next Sunday. Until then, take care. Bye guys. Love you all. Mwah.